Hi, here's Mikey Brown, an answers leader in the Salesforce Trailblazer community. Here's one of his top community answers that we've turned into a video for you. Here's the question. How do you create and manage invoices in Salesforce? Customers may want to introduce an invoice object as a way to request payment for goods and services provided. This slide helps illustrate the difference between opportunities, orders, and invoices. The opportunity represents the potential sale in which you can manage that life cycle from prospecting all the way to closed one. The order is when the deal has been finalized and we now need to provide those goods and services. And then finally, once those goods and services are provided, the invoice can be sent out to request payment. In this video, we'll be looking at two different options for how you can track invoices. The first is to create your own invoice custom object. And the second option is if you're not using the standard quote object, you could repurpose this to track invoices. There is a third option as well worth mentioning if you're a Salesforce Revenue Cloud customer in which the Salesforce billing package can be added on and does include invoicing capabilities. First, let's talk about creating a custom object. Here, we're creating our own custom invoice object. An invoice custom object will allow you to generate an automated invoice number and any other details you may need, such as status, customer information, or even the opportunity or order the invoice is related to. In addition, if you wish to list individual goods and services, consider creating an invoice line item object to track each of these products. With a master detail relationship, you can have your invoice line item amounts roll up to your invoice object. Once created, you'll now have a complete picture of your invoice with a header object as well as line item details. Additionally, consider flow automation to automatically create an invoice and all appropriate line items. For example, when an opportunity is marked close one, you could have it create a new invoice with all the opportunity products copied over as invoice line items. Finally, consider using a third party document generation tool if you need to send a digital copy of the invoice. Some tools to consider are Conga Composer, SDocs, and Formstack documents. Let's review the second option for invoicing, which is leveraging the standard quotes object. If you're not generating quotes as part of your sales process, you could relabel and repurpose this object for invoicing. There are actually a couple of advantages with this use case. Let's dive into each of these a little closer. First, when creating an invoice using the quote object, the opportunity products will automatically be copied onto that invoice as invoice line items. Second, we can use quote templates as a way to use built-in document generation to email a copy of that invoice to a client. If you have more questions, tap into the wisdom of our entire Trailblazer community at trailhead.salesforce.com forward slash community.